Veracut 9 II brings significant speed increases and improved accuracy to collision checking and overall performance. Users gain substantial speed increases for deep concave collision penetration, turning operations, especially inside diameter work on large parts, and collision checking between highly detailed models such as those having high triangle counts. Veracut 9 II simulates material removal at tight cutting resolutions up to 30% faster. For more information on collision and performance improvements, see the Veracut help. With Veracut 9 II, simplify the Veracut machine building process and create more realistic setups in a matter of seconds by importing 3D live data. Import GDML format files containing 3D geometry for CNC machines, fixture components, and cutting tool holders. Kinematic information, travel limits, minimum slash maximum feed rates for axes, and initial machine positions are also imported. 3D Live is a registered trademark of Machining Cloud Inc. For more information on the 3D Live interface, see the Veracut help. Veracut 9 II features many new, easy to define cutting tools. A few examples are conical end mills, spherical end mills, and new thread mills. Veracut checks for machining errors according to the specific tool's capabilities and limitations. Veracut's dimensioning tool, Excalibur, can be used to check the dimensions of drilled or threaded holes and also to display machining information for that related hole. For more information on new tool types, see the Veracut help. In Veracut 9.2, new options for hole-making tools enable users to specify how Veracut will use profile or model file cutters. After choosing the cutter's use, enter any supporting values required to enhance its definition. Veracut checks for machining errors according to the specific tool's capabilities and limitations. As an example, for this reamer, an appropriate undersized hole must exist or a collision occurs. For more information on hole-making tools, see the Veracut help. Veracut 9.2 enables users to quickly create reports featuring detailed cutting tool information. Veracut 9.2 features automatic dimensioning for mill and hole making tools, including parametric cutter values, flute length, overall height, stick out, and gauge distances. Veracut 9.2 also features a new section capability in Tool Manager, which enables users to section tool holders or entire tool assemblies to ensure cutters and adapters fit properly inside the holder. The dimensioned tool images are available to use in reports. For more information on enhancements for tool reporting, see the Veracut help. The improved graphs window in Veracut 9.2 combines infographs and force charts in a new comprehensive and configurable graphs window. Select any combination of cutting conditions and force conditions to view in graphs, display cutting limits, and compare optimized versus original values. A new Tool Use window provides convenient views of tool and program runtimes as well as optimization savings. Dock either window in your Veracut desktop to see the information in real time during simulations. For more information on Tool Use windows and dockable graphs, see the Veracut help. In Veracut 9.2, optimize your programs by setting a target chip thickness and any combination of force limits, including maximum force, maximum power, and maximum tool deflection. The bright green color in graphs highlights where optimizing increased feed rates to achieve target chip thickness and reduce NC program runtimes. 
Red highlights feed rates reduced to avoid exceeding set limits, thereby avoiding undesirable or potentially unsafe machining conditions. OptiPath has a new Learn Mode, which enables users to choose how aggressively to learn from current cutting results. Vericut learns from cutting conditions encountered during the simulation, and automatically configures tools for optimization. Learn from results in graphs can send force or OptiPath optimization settings, or change optimization strategies for corresponding cutters. This gives users the ability to use graphs to visualize cutting conditions, and choose specific optimization values that will provide optimal results. For more information on optimization options, see the Vericut help. In Vericut 9.2, detailed reports for tools using multi-tool stations can now be documented. This includes the ability to store an image of a multi-tool station along with its orientation that can be used in Vericut reports. There are also several new columns in reports to describe the turret positions and multi-stations used in your simulation. Additional enhancements in Vericut 9.2 reports include table header and cell fill colors, table cell text coloring, additional control with table column widths, and the ability to copy and paste tables in reports. Instruments can now be defined in an inspection report. Measurements and tolerance values are all editable. For more information on report enhancements, see the Vericut help. Vericut 9.2 extends the life of your turning inserts with a new Adjust Turning Interrupted Cut setting that slows feed rates on motions that pass through gaps or obstructions on turned parts. In this video, Force Optimize shows chip thickness, total force and feed per revolution of the original NC program, which is displayed as blue lines in the graph. Then the optimized lines are shown, which are displayed as red lines in the graph. Notice the lower chip thickness, total force, and feed per tooth. The filled graph shows the comparison between the original and the optimized NC program. The red line shows where the feed rate was adjusted to be slower, and green fill shows where the feed rate was adjusted to be faster. For more information on force turning improvements, see the Vericut help.